Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which artist painted Napoleon crossing the Alps? Is it A. Pablo Picasso B. Vincent van Gogh C. René Magritte Or D. Jacques Louis David The answer is D. Jacques Louis David. Jacques Louis David, the artist behind Napoleon crossing the Alps, was not only a talented painter but also a key figure in the French Revolution. He even voted for the execution of King Louis XVI. His dramatic and iconic portrayal of Napoleon on horseback has become one of his most famous works. Question 2. Which author wrote The Last of the Mohicans? Is it A. Edgar Allan Poe B. Jack London C. James Fenimore Cooper Or D. Edgar Rice Burroughs The answer is C. James Fenimore Cooper James Fenimore Cooper, the author of The Last of the Mohicans, was known for his unique writing style that often included detailed descriptions of nature and landscapes. Interestingly, he is also credited with creating one of the most enduring characters in American literature, Natty Bumpo, who appears in several of his novels. Question 3. In which book series does Cedric Diggory appear? Is it A. Twilight? B. Voyages Extraordinaires C. Percy Jackson and the Olympians Or D. Harry Potter The answer is D. Harry Potter In the Harry Potter series, Cedric Diggory is known for being a skilled and noble Hufflepuff student who competes in the Triwizard Tournament. Interestingly, actor Robert Pattinson portrayed Cedric in the film adaptation of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire before rising to fame as Edward Cullen in the Twilight Saga. Question 4. Which author wrote The Annotated Little Women? Is it A. Stephen King B. Edgar Allan Poe C. Nathaniel Hawthorne Or D. Louisa May Alcott The answer is D. Louisa May Alcott. Louisa May Alcott, the author of The Annotated Little Women, was known for her unconventional lifestyle. She never married and once famously said, I am more than half persuaded that I am a man's soul put by some freak of nature into a woman's body. Her progressive views continue to inspire readers worldwide. Question 5. What is the name of E.B. White's adventurous mouse-like boy from a 1945 story? Is it A. Jack Little B. Henry Little C. Tom Little Or D. Stuart Little The answer is D. Stuart Little An interesting fact about Stuart Little is that the character was inspired by a real-life incident where E.B. White found a little mouse in his garden shed. This encounter sparked the idea for the beloved children's book, creating a timeless tale of adventure and friendship that continues to captivate readers of all ages. Question 6. Which author wrote Foundation and Empire? Is it A. Philip K. Dick? B. Stephen King C. Ursula K. Le Guin Or D. Isaac Asimov The answer is D. Isaac Asimov Isaac Asimov, the author of Foundation and Empire, was known for his incredible ability to predict future technological advancements. In fact, he accurately envisioned concepts like self-driving cars, advanced robotics, and the internet long before they became a reality. 
Asimov's visionary ideas continue to inspire generations of science fiction enthusiasts. Question 7. Which author wrote Mein Kampf? Is it A. Henrik Sienkiewicz B. Thomas Mann C. Adolf Hitler Or D. Agatha Christie The answer is C. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler wrote Mein Kampf while serving time in prison after a failed coup attempt. Interestingly, the title translates to My Struggle in English. The book outlines his political ideology and future plans for Germany, making it a controversial and significant piece of literature in history. Question 8. Which author wrote Unfinished Tales? Is it A. J. R. R. Tolkien? B. J. K. Rowling? C. Christopher Tolkien? Or D. Neil Gaiman? The answer is C. Christopher Tolkien. Christopher Tolkien, son of J.R.R. Tolkien, not only edited and published unfinished tales but also played a crucial role in preserving and expanding his father's literary legacy. His dedication to meticulously compiling and organizing his father's unfinished works has provided fans with deeper insights into the rich world of Middle-earth. Question 9. In which book does Lady Catherine de Borg appear? Is it A. Ship of Fools? B. Pride and Prejudice? C. War and Peace? Or D. The Fault in Our Stars? The answer is B. Pride and Prejudice. In Pride and Prejudice, Lady Catherine de Borg is known for her overbearing personality and snobbish attitude. Interestingly, she was inspired by a real-life person and Lefroy, a close friend of author Jane Austen. This connection adds an extra layer of depth to the character, making her even more intriguing. As we close the chapter on today's quiz, remember, in the canvas of life, may your brushstrokes be bold and your story a masterpiece. Farewell. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Farewell until tomorrow. Have a good one wherever you are. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.